Hello everyone, welcome to Jinghua Education, I'm Steven. In this video, we're going to talk about the introductions of Exponent Part 3. Part 1, 2, 3, and 4 are in one unit. Please make sure you watch all of them uh, at, at once. And then uh, if you haven't checked the, the first part and the second part, please uh, go back to do so. Um, otherwise, it's pretty hard, to, pretty hard to follow in here. So in part three, I'm going to talk about the uh, simplify at once uh, exponent expressions. So the question will be a little bit hard here. Okay, uh, please make sure you, you understand the, what part two is about and then to proceed. All right, let's see here. We have a question. We're trying to simplify this. So the first one is simple. Uh, we got a three, one, two, three term here. And then there's a square up on the outside to apply each one of them. Okay, so we got a 3 to the power of 2, and then a squared to the power of 2, and then b cubed to the power of 2. So if you expand that, so 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 9. a squared to the power of 2, power of power equal to power multiply, right? So we've been talking about these things several times. So you should be understand these things already. So b cubed to the power of 2, power of power, so power 2 of power 3, power of power equal to power multiply, which is b6. Simplified, done. Okay, the next one is also a straightforward. 4a, 5b, power, power, so which is applying this, right? So this applies. So 4a, which is the 4 to the power of 2, a to the power of 2. So 2 will apply here and here. And then the bottom will be 5 to the power of 2, b to the power of 2. So this is the 16th. That's the 25, a square, and then b square. So constant terms is pretty uh, impossible to simplify. And then a square, b square, there's no way to simplify, and then that is the most simplified term. Okay, here. This one, we can do uh, 3 apply to each one of them, and then 3 apply to each one of them in the bottom, and then simplify. Or we can simplify first, and then apply the 3. Both ways is OK. So uh, the second way is a little bit simpler. Let's just ar arrange these things first. 16 and 20, can we simplify? Yes, we divide by 4 and 4 here, which is 16 divided by 4 equal to 4. 16 divided by, uh, 20 divided by 4 equal to 5. And then constant is looking for constant. A is looking for A, A square, A, which is 2 minus 1, which is only one A left on the, on the top. And then the B5, B3, so 5 divided by 3, which is uh, power of 5 divided by power of 3, power divided by power equal to power subtract, will be B2 and then apply the 3 here. Okay, and then we got the 4 to the power of 3 on the top, which is 64, and then a to the power of 3, which is a cubed, b to the power of 2, to the power of 3, power of power equal to power multiply, b6. In the bottoms, 5 to the power of 3, which is 125. And then these things uh, hard to uh, factor, and then a3, a6, there's nothing to simplify anymore, and then we're done. Okay, the next one. The next one is very nice, very simple. So uh, don't even try to do it. You see power of 0 here? 1, done. Okay, every time you see power of 0, you should be happy. Okay, so we don't care what inside is. Doesn't matter how complex inside, we don't care. So we just, anything power of 0 equal to 1, done. Okay, next one. So 2 apply to 2a and a b. On the top will be 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. a to the power of 2 is a square. b to the power of 2 is a b square. So this should be simple enough for you for now. a to the power of 5, uh, 8b power of 0. Okay, nice, ab power of 0 is 0, it's, it's 1, right? So ab to the power of 0 is 1. We don't even write here, we just remove this. Negative 1 half to the power of cube, which is equal to, this is how many terms here? One, two, three terms, okay? 
uh, don't ignore the negative one, negative sign. Negative one to the power of three, one to the power of three, and then two to the power of three. Okay, so how much is this? Negative one to the power of three, which is negative one. Positive one to the power of three is a positive one. Two to the power of three is eight. So this whole thing equal to negative one eighth. And then we have these things as well, times four a square b square. So eight and four cancelled. So we're gonna have a negative on the top. We got one a square, just a square. On the bottom we got a two b square. Will be two b square, and then that will be simplified already. Okay. All right, the last one. Okay, that one looks a little bit tricky, but uh, it's really nothing to, nothing hard about this. So you see these things, it's not, not on the top, it's implied on the top. If it is, it is not in the bottoms, it's on the top. Okay, so this is equivalent to 5a5 to the power of 2 divided by 25a6. So there's no differences. So the writing one here just for just for confuse you, so don't don't fall into it. Okay. So one time these things, if these things is not in the bottoms, it will be on the top. So just like that. So and then after that will be simple. Uh, five to the power of two, twenty-five. A to the power of five to the power of two, a to the power of ten. Twenty-five on the bottoms. A to the power of six. Twenty-five, twenty-five cancel. 8 to the power of 10 divided by 8 to the power of 6, power divided by power equal to power subtract, right? It'll be 8 to the power of 4. That's the final answer. Okay? So, hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, if you like, please subscribe. Any questions, uh, please comment below. I will answer your question in my next video. I know I'm doing a little bit fast. Okay, if you um, hard to follow, please pause the video and then try to understand and then try to do this question yourself. And then uh, if you have questions, just ask me. All right, so thank you for watching.